What's up, everyone? How y'all doing today? Um, let me one second. Let me just take off my headphones. Ow. I'm better with it. I don't have too much time as um, I just have a call right now. Um, but I want to share a message with everyone here, which is um, patience. You know, um, real patience is you showing up to something without expecting anything in return, right? So that means if you say, for example, you stutter and you want to overcome it, that means going up to people and speaking, practicing techniques that you've learned, practicing mindsets that you've had with people and getting out of your comfort zone and knowing that you are going to mess up and not putting this pressure on yourself that you got to be perfect when you speak. See, patience is when you show up and you don't expect anything in return. It's when you plant a seed, plant a tree, and you're not getting mad that the tree isn't 100 feet tall by the second day. That's what patience is. You know, I, um, you know, I've been working out a lot more often. Um, you know, obviously the pandemic, not whatever. I can make different excuses, but I haven't really been consistent in the gym, and I've been consistent for, you know, whatever it's been a couple weeks now, and I haven't seen any major results. But I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried because I have patience embedded in me, which is just keep showing up and keep doing the right things. Don't ask questions. Don't start questioning the path. Just show up and know that you are doing everything in your power. And that's it. That's it. Don't ask questions. See, real patience is as you're waiting, you're positive. As you're waiting, you're feeling good. As you're waiting for the tree to grow, you feel great the whole time. Because you know one day that tree is gonna be massive. But I don't need to get upset as I'm waiting. So this is, this is a message to everyone. If you're trying to overcome your stutter and you're dealing with blocks and you're getting upset that you're not seeing improvement, stop, stop. Don't beat yourself up. Don't go down a negative path right now and find all the faults, all the faults in you. I'm doing something wrong. This isn't going right. What is happening? If you have, you know, um, a technique, if you have a path, if you have certain, you know, for example, my program, we got certain modules and they go through and there's certain assignments. Just walk down the yellow brick road. Stop questioning it. Stop saying, why am I not better tomorrow? Why not, or why am I not perfect tomorrow? You are better, you are better, right? So instead of trying to be like a bajillion percent better overnight, try to get 1% better every single day, right? 1% better every single day. 100 days go by and you're 100% better. That's how it works. That's how life works. Keep showing up. You don't question it, right? You find technique. Like, for example, I have the, um, the stop, swallow, uh, reset technique. Where before you're about to say a word, you swallow, you stop, you swallow, and then you continue. You don't, you don't, um, you know, you don't say, well, Daniel, I tried that technique and it didn't work. You've tried it for a day. You tried it for an hour. Give it time. You're not good at it. Keep going. The 426 method. Inhale for four seconds. Hold for two. Release for six. You do it over and over and over and over and over again until you get good at it. Anything you do, you will suck at the beginning. But you got to realize that. You got to realize you're going to suck at things at the beginning, but it's not about being, you know, perfect at the beginning. It's about just showing up and say, I'm just going to keep doing this over and over and over until I figure it out. That's what real patience is. That's what real patience is. All right? I gave the example of, of myself at the gym. I show up. I don't see any results for a couple weeks. So what? Keep showing up. Sooner or later, you will. Sooner or later, something will happen. And that's where the magic happens. And then all of a sudden, results come 
literally a week later, like I've never seen this before. It's like, it's like, you just got to pump the water, you know, like, you know, like w with a well and keep pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping. Don't stop. Keep pumping, pumping. The water hasn't come out on the other side. Just keep pumping. Right. And if you stop pumping, the water goes all the way back down. You keep pumping, you keep pumping, you keep pumping, you keep pumping. And the next thing you know, boom, water shoots out. And then it keeps, sh it keeps shooting out. And all you got to do is slowly pump. Cause you got to put a lot of momentum into something at the beginning. So that's, that's my word of advice for you today. Be patient, man. Find a path. Be, be patient with it. Be patient with yourself. Stop trying to rush your life. Stop trying to rush a result. It doesn't work like that. Life doesn't work like that. If it was easy, we'd all have it. But if you want something that a lot of people don't have, you got to realize why don't they have it. And the number one thing is patience. It's consistency. It's showing up day after day after day after day after day after day after day. For years. For months. To get to the level that you want to get to. <clears throat> You're consistent for weeks. You'll see a little bit of results. You're consistent for a couple of days. You'll see some results. But the results that you are looking for, the high level results, the, 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 the great speaker, the 99% the fluent, the great public speaker, the, the, the person who's a phenomenal at, at, at telling stories in groups, it takes time. It takes feeling. It takes falling on your face. It takes messing up. Okay? It takes embarrassment and judgment and overcoming that. That's what it takes. But that's how character is built. Understand, patience builds character. And character is what is respected. Character is how you build confidence, right? That's what real confidence is. You want a solid, solid, solid foundation of confidence within you. How do you do that? You gotta be patient with something. You gotta build character. You, you gotta realize that not every day is gonna be easy, but you gotta keep showing up. And when it gets hard, you show up even more. When it gets difficult, when you wanna quit, you show up even more. And when you, when you live in that mindset, when you live in that world, the world's your oyster because no, because 99% of people will never do that. And in this group, you know, you know, we, this group is, you know, the, the, the 5% or whatever percent that are hungry to get to the next level. We're not satisfied for average. We're not satisfied for being normal. We, we strive for greatness. That's how I operate every single day. Strive for greatness, but I'm patient with it. I'm forcing it. I'm patient with it. And when you live like that, it's when your dreams happen. That's when people come up to you and they go, man, you're an inspiration. I'm inspired by you. So that's my message for today. Hope you uh, got something out of it. If you did, comment down below. If you're watching this on the replay, comment down below. I love you all. And I uh, hope you guys learned something from it. All right. Peace. Take care.